How are you all doing today? And we got today we got a couple of uh, fresh fresh burgers. Wow, amazing! I don't know if I can eat both of them, but you know. Hmm. Mm -mm. I'll try and channel my inner American. My inner American. Oh, it's already in sub mode. I like. Me like him. What happened? Do tell. Get movie, Zoddy. Move it, move it, move it. Even you for sin, you hobo, can be a great philosopher if you ever think about stopping this streaming thing you got here. Great. Trust me, this man did it. What the fuck? Publicly defecating philosopher. Hey kids, time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest. Today, we're gonna talk about the greatest mind to ever live. Nope, not him. Nope. Keep trying. Who I'm really referring to is the ancient Greek philosopher known as Diogenes of Sinope. Diogenes followed the school of thought known as cynicism. Far from the yelling at CNN, sitting down during the pledge kind of cynicism we know today, cynic philosophy centers around the rejection of conventional desires in favor of a simple, moderate lifestyle. But while many philosophers made the virtue out of self-discipline, Diogenes took all that to a whole new level. He was the most down-to-earth guy out there. Literally, he lived on the ground, in a big tub in the marketplace where he'd beg for a living. For a while, his only possession was a wooden bowl, until one day he saw a child drinking out of his hands, and he was like, what do I need this shit for? Now, though his way of life and perspective was unique enough, it's the way Diogenes showed it that really set him apart from the rest. When someone today wants to go against society, they dye their hair blue and make a blog post about how there aren't any obese women of color in Super Smash Bros. On the other hand, when Diogenes has something to say, he just jerks off in public. Takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around him. Keep in mind, though he was an unwashed, publicly defecating homeless man, that's not all he was. His wit was easily on par with his philosophical contemporaries, and his lack of inhibition meant that everyone knew it. For example, here's an often pondered question of the day. How do you define a human in the simplest of terms possible? Plato decided to tackle this question, and he came up with featherless biped. And in the ancient Greek world, they didn't have any kangaroos or gibbons or nothing, so people were the only things around that both walked on two legs and didn't have feathers. Plato thought he was real clever with that one. Diogenes, on the other hand, he wasn't having any of it. So he said, all right, you pompous prick, I'll give you a featherless biped. So in reality, we do not learn. Wait, and what they we have... call learn oh. is only a process of recollection. <laughs> oh god damn it, not you again. What's up fuckers? Hey, check out this person I found. Isn't it such a human? Look at him, wow. What a guy. Anyway, love to stay in chat, but I saw some trash outside that looked delicious. Smell you later, deliberator. Yes, my student. Yeah, uh, what the fuck? Here's another anecdote. Macedonian King Alexander was a big fan of Diogenes, so he decided to pay him a visit. And he said, hey man, big fan. If there's any favor I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know, I'll make it happen. Now to put this into perspective, this is Alexander we're talking about. The guy who had his cousin straight up assassinated so he could take the throne. The guy who would later go on to conquer the majority of the civilized world. And you know what Diogenes says? He goes, yeah, you can do me a favor. Move over, you're in my light. Wow, I'm just, I'm not even mad. You really are just a legend. Diogenes lived up to the ripe old age of 89. I don't know if that's a testament to his lifestyle or if he just got lucky, but either way, if there is a god, he definitely has a sense of humor. The exact cause of Diogenes' death varies depending on which source you look at. Some say he died from an infected dog bite. Others say it was from eating raw octopus. My favorite theory is that one day he just got tired of living and he just held his breath till he died. He left behind instructions on what to do with his body after he passed. Now when people think of special post-mortem instructions like these, they usually think, Scatter my ashes at 6.53 a.m. off the western face of Mount Rainier using my grandfather's favorite ladle. None of that with Diogenes, he kept it simple. In the words of Danny DeVito, When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash! Specifically, he wanted his body tossed into the wild so animals could feast on him, thereby giving back to the earth what little he took from it. So kids, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its Cover. The man who appears to be nothing more than a shit-smeared babbling vagrant could actually be the wisest man you'll ever meet. 
Wednesday. Or he could really just be a raving fucking None lunatic. Enough. Bring a knife, just in 18. case. Anyway, till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. Well, now you know. Respect your hobos. They might be smarter than you think. <laughs> they might be smarter than you think, man. Uh, I am alcoholic, Don't Three says, can you stop talking? I'm trying to listen to the music. Huh. Alright. No music, though. So, I guess I'll rain check that. Decimus, Don't Three says, force and... For snooze, the new snooze available throughout the US. Remember, if you don't snooze, you lose. Available at your nearest superstores. Yeah. You know they sell general in the US? Yeah, I heard it sell general, but I don't understand how they can sell general because I. They can't sell the other brands. Is there a nicotine. Oh, sorry, tobacco free general? There is. For sure. Are they selling tobacco snus or are they selling tobacco free snus? Like in stores, we're talking about stores here. Not that you can like order online. They have tobacco snus in the US. Is this recent then? I buy General Snus in the USA, it has tobacco. Yeah, General General is the best brand, I think. But I'm surprised. Huh. Either way, I, I, I wouldn't be able to advertise, even if I made it, even if I made my own Snus brand, I wouldn't be able to advertise it on my stream. Like with a uh, like official advertising. Why not? Because it's illegal to advertise snooze. Nicotine snooze, not nicotine free. It's kind of like alcohol. You're not allowed to advertise alcohol free beer. That's why. That's why the big companies actually make alcohol-free beer it's so they can fucking advertise it on TV and shit it's not because it sells it doesn't sell just so that they have the product and it's related to the brand the big brand, right? yeah, just uh... just the way the cookie crumbles why Madonna's fine says, okay, so you're not a snus dealer. You just PM me where to buy your snus if you can buy it online. I'm 23 or just show me the tin, cutie boy. I just packed chewing tobacco. It's just packed chewing tobacco, right? Or does it have some legal European drugs in it? No, I mean, it's nicotine and, and, um, uh, and tobacco, basically. I mean. Here's one, but there's uh this is the XR version. Uh there is the the normal general brand that I have somewhere too. Maybe in my pocket. No. I have it in the fridge. Either way, general. The little logo on top. That's how it looks like. <clears throat> Advertised. Uh, sure, I can advertise it, but they can't advertise it, weirdly enough. They can't pay me to advertise it, but I can show this tin. They can't pay influencers, they can't make TV commercials. Yeah, just, uh, just how it is, just how it works. Influencers, I mean, in their eyes, I'm an influencer. Look what Forsen taught me. Yeah, now you too can achieve the force and build. Totally. So, uh, yeah, as I said, um, the Zelda game comes out on Friday, but I don't think I'll play it Friday. I'm not even sure uh, when I'll play it, to be honest. 
uh, because I'll be taking Saturday and Sunday off for those of you who just arrived. Um, How, how, does anyone know roughly how long I have left of uh, the little Resident Evil game? Because there's a couple other games I want to play too. I'm like halfway done. Alright. Um... Hmm. Yeah, there are a few releases. I haven't seen these actually. But they look look like fun. Oh, Stranger Things. Is that released now? The Stranger Things Dead by Daylight. Welcome to Uganda. Before I watch this, uh, do I even have? Uh, in case we play, oh, it's on twenty six gig. Okay, I'm gonna start. This ain't some Friday Nights at Freddy shit, is it? Let's get you out of that box and out into the light. It's a big, scary world out here. The show must go on. Show must go on. I don't. I didn't get much from that trailer, if I'm gonna be honest. Doesn't look like a bad game. Looks quite unique. Um, build sport cars, jet planes, helicopters, or walking robot and thing on a mission explore of exploration or breakneck rally races. And this is multiplayer. Oh man. I never really played these kind of games. Um, what is, there's Besiege and then there's this other game that really looks like this one. Um, Uh, 
scrap mechanic, yeah. So what exactly do you do? Are there different servers for different things? I guess we can try it out. Oh shit, explore a vast open world and escape the planet in the survival game mode, stranded in space. Oh shit. That seems like interesting. Welcome to you, Oh shit. Rally update. Oh, I don't... Wait, is this a game that just released but was in early access for a long time? <gasps> New exploration mode in 1.0. So I'm guessing that this uh, Stranded in Space is the exploration mode. Sale on release. Hmm. I mean, a lot of companies, when they release their game or indie games or whatever, they when make it they make it uh, a sale, like ten percent off, so that it looks nicer, so that it looks green here. I see it all the time. I guess we can try it. Yeah, she's pregnant with your mom, chat. That doesn't even make sense. Man, say forcing Hi. Kakona here. I bought General in the USA once. I'm not sure if it had tobacco, but I threw up nonetheless. Have a good stream, smiley face. It's my boy. Well, some people say they do, so I guess. Uh, all right, let's get this. Uh, let's see what's up. Why not? Why not? All right, and then, yeah, let let we should try out the new. Uh, we should also try out the new uh, DVD, Stranger Things chapter. Uh, I'll get back to if we if we run out of new games. I'll get back to Resident Little because it wasn't like it was it was it was bad, but it, it, I I thought it was like amusing bad kind of. Uh, like it ma didn't make much sense. Cutscenes were fucking scuffed as shit. So I don't mind going back to that and beating that if I if I already beat half of it. Uh, but let's uh, let's try out some new ones first. I feel like I'm Dax fight on stream says we're ready for Tegan season three. I'm not ready for Tegan season three. My fucking Katarina is nerfed, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? What am I supposed to do? Not spam 444. Four, four. But why Splint and Blaur Steinfresse with the two years is forcing me. Thank you, sir. 
Rick Kayser, Rotar, Anonymous, Defendot, and Max Power. Welcome, welcome back. Alright, I think it should be installed. Uh, what is this game? Strategy, gore, sexual content, turn based. That's a weird combination, but okay. Fun with ragdolls. The game. Welcome to Fun with Ragdolls the oh, Game. Not multiplayer. Create and explore worlds for you and your ragdolls to interact in. Add different types of ragdolls to your scene. They're even aware of what you place in the world. Explore pre-built environments. Unlock a variety of pre-designed skins and faces. This is fun with ragdolls. The game. Ignoring Tekken 7 dance game at Forsen. I just talked about it. Literally. If you're not paying attention, then you'll have to make a new account. Stop with your fucking one man spam, dude. Jesus Christ. If this was multiplayer, I would probably try that shit out, but I'm not doing it. Single player. Alright, let's try out these games at least. We have this one too, we can do later. But this one seems... this one and... Wait, what the fuck? Where's the... Where's the trail? Oh, because I bought it, it disappeared. Alright. All right. Uh, all right. Let's start with trail makers. 